Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading and it will be from now to the end of May 2021 as I am releasing these a little bit early. So let's pull your overarching energy or message. Remember it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you Capricorn. Okay, overarching energy, money and career only for Capricorn. Now to the end of May 2021, what do we have please, angels, spirits, guides? Message for our lovely Capricorns, thank you. So the message is, the Seven of Wands is your overarching energy, okay. Message for Capricorn please, angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Capricorns. Okay, I've got, <laughs> I've got a few cards here. So I have justice can be a re what you sow card can be to do with legal situations, government institutions. Um, I have well-being and commitment. I'm feeling more re what you sow energy here, but those are lovely energies. I mean, it definitely feels for some of you um, because this is about perseverance standing up for what you know to be right what you know to be true uh it, it is an energy of if you keep on persevering you know you will overcome the challenge that you face this is about somebody staying in their power even though some it, it films like it feels like an overwhelming situation six against one this is about someone who is in their power who will not be defeated who will overcome the challenge they face by sheer force of will and they're getting on higher ground than that which opposes them, even though it is six against one. So it feels in this energy, there is definitely perseverance here, but it feels in this situation, the perseverance will pay off. And that's what I'm getting with this justice. Now, yes, for some of you, that could be a legal thing as well. But it feels more to do with well-being and commitment, reap what you sow energies. It feels like you're protecting what's yours. Yeah, I've got abundance mindset. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. Isn't that lovely? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna pull five cards, starting off with the challenge position. So what do we have for Capricorn, please? Message for Capricorn, Angel Spirits Guides, Money Career Only, May 2021, thank you. What do we have for our lovely Capricorns, thank you. Money Career Only, thank you. I'm gonna shuffle one more time here. Message for Capricorn, please, angels, spirits, guides. Thank you. Knight of Wands in the challenge position. King of Pentacles. The Empress is what's obstacles to overcome. Uh, Three of Swords is the advice from Spirit. And your outcome, Capricorn, we have the Seven of Swords. So I'm going to, let's clarify this King of Pentacles. This could be you. Generally, it's Taurus for me as a reader, but it can be you, Capricorn, male or female energy. It's a general reading. It can also be somebody of influence in your life. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles, please. Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles and the Fool. Okay, Capricorn. Well, yeah, your challenge has been to leave a difficult time behind and get the green light on new opportunity coming your way. There could have been some delays, setbacks. 
you know, frustrations going on here, two steps forward, three steps back, and that's what I'm feeling with this in the challenge position, you know. Um, it feels in this situation, Capricorn, yeah, it, it just feels in this situation you have had, it feels like to do with some kind of frustrating energy or delay setbacks, it could be to do with an opportunity that you had you had your sights on, or it could well be to do with leaving behind a difficult situation and just charging ahead, feeling change, feeling empowered. And it doesn't feel that's happened quite yet. However, it does feel something is changing here. It's interesting because the Seven of Wands can be a card of competition as well. Uh, and it's it's getting head and shoulders above the competition, actually, that one. So it feels in this energy. Um, King of Pentacles is, is generally somebody in business who is at the top of their game, you know, a leader. I'm getting this energy, Capricorn. Yes, this can be you, but I feel this can also be somebody. He is somebody who represents success, achievement, who can offer you the pentacle, he can offer you an opportunity. So it could well be an influential person in business, something that you've been taking action towards. There's a feeling of reaping what you sow with this energy. Now he represents stability, security, safety, material success as an energy. So again, it, there's a sign of success if it's a person or an energy of um, if somebody who understands how to manifest money to understand how to finally use their practical skills knowledge and experience to fulfill the plan what they set their sights on they understand how to practically achieve it so and they're tied in with this three of pentacles and the fool now the fool is taking a leap of faith, a new, a new beginning energy, uh, a new chance in terms of, and it feels to do with the beginnings of success in a new business. Now, you know, the three of pentacles can be a new business partnership, collaboration. It can also be to do with the beginnings of success in terms of jobs, material security, laying the foundations finally for future growth. But it's a card of the three is about manifesting something new. So it feels there's the beginnings of success here. This is Mars in Capricorn. So either somebody is, what's going for you is somebody is influential in opening this powerful new door for you. It feels like a new chapter energy in terms of money, career, business, or this is you having the energy to bring stability, security, safety, material success into your life. And this is about the first signs of that happening. Very beautiful energy here, Capricorn, though. I have to say it's a, it's a big new door opening, you know, and you just want to dive right in. You know, there's an energy with a fool. I just want to jump straight into it. You know, it, it feels very beautiful. It's a powerful new beginning. So any obstacles to overcome? We have the Empress. So the Empress is generally an energy of um, abundance. She is a nurturing energy. So it's very much about putting your energy in the right direction because she is all about planting new seeds for future growth. You know, she's the birth of something new. She's very good in terms of money areas. So it feels like something is just, the conditions are right, the soil is ready, the seeds are ready to be planted, and there is incoming abundance associated with her. But it feels that for some of you, there may have been delays here, but there's definitely an energy of just keep on putting your energy, nurture it, nurture. Um, this is about nurturing something because you're gonna reap the reward. I keep on getting this reap the reward energy. And it's interesting, there can be a commitment energy with these. You know, somebody offering you something in terms of commitment. 
you know, uh, the king of pentacles is an energy of trust, uh, you know, means what he says, you know, puts the money where the mouth is, you know, they are what they are. There's no hidden agenda or anything with the king of pentacles. So it feels in this energy that there's something to be nurtured here. There may have been some delays or frustrations here, Cap Capricorn, but there's definitely an energy of what's going for you is the beginnings of success. However, that resonates. Three of Swords. So, Three of Swords energy is about emotional pain. It can be to do with a truth. And it might well be this is what you're wanting to leave behind with that Knight of Wands, where there could have been some delays or frustrations. Essentially, the Three of Swords is... Libra and Saturn. And Saturn is your ruler, which is interesting. So there's definitely this energy of, yes, you are being tested, but by your focus, by allowing yourself to focus, work within the boundaries that you have been given, work within the test, the challenges, the boundaries that you've been given, you understand how to use your practical abilities, knowledge, experience to bring success back into your life and re-establish balance. If you feel some of you have been tested, this can be the test of a relationship as well. Um, deep hurt, deep wounds, emotional pain. But there's definitely a message with this Three of Swords for you because Saturn is your ruler, Capricorn. You understand how to work within the constraints and the tests by just being methodical, prioritizing, doing one thing at a time, that is what's going to bring you the success, the stability, the new level of foundation and security and first signs of success coming your way. So it feels in the energy, you understand how to deal with this the most, do what you do best. And that's what I'm getting with this energy. I'm going to pull another one for that card. Let's clarify this Three of Swords. Yeah, you understand, <laughs> you do. I've got the Ace of Pentacles. You understand how to open a new door. Uh, use your practical abilities, knowledge, know-how, prioritize to generate new opportunity and work within the boundaries, the constraints that you find yourself. And this Ace of Pentacles can be to do with moving, relocating, for some of you, that might be for some of you. This could be to do with offers on a home. It might not just be business. Some of you could be to do with moving home, relocating. Um, but it can also be to do with career financial opportunity. You are absolutely somebody, who, and this is the Ace of Pentacles is ultimately about manifesting a new path in your conscious reality. It is about making that first door open for you. You know, um, it definitely feels in this situation, career, financial opportunity, moving, relocating, but this is about you understanding how to work within the boundaries and nurture something to plant the seeds of future growth. There's definitely an energy of the beginnings of success coming your way here, Capricorn. The Seven of Swords is an interesting one because the, the Seven of Swords can be a card of acting strategically. So you might be keeping things to yourself, you know, you might be making some strategic decisions, you know, keeping things close to your chest here. Uh, again, working within the boundaries that you're working within. If you're not happy with your current job, for example, you're tested in a relationship and you want to manifest this new job, you understand how to work within those boundaries, the test, the restraints, the difficulty that you might be experiencing with somebody or with a situation in terms of business career. Because the message is that you haven't quite left that behind yet. You want to bring change, but you haven't quite left that behind yet. But you are manifesting the new path. The new path is opening this month. The new seeds are being planted and the birth of something new is happening. So again, it just feels that you're acting strategically, keeping things close to your chest here in order to reap the rewards. 
Um, again, this is a card of persevering, overcoming challenge. It could well be as well. You're dealing with things. You're standing up for what you know to, to know to be right and true. You're putting your energy in the right direction to overcome the challenge that you face. That could be that Three of Swords energy. Um, how you're being tested. But you are absolutely getting on top of the situation here because you understand how to work within those, those challenging boundaries. And for some of you, it feels that there is a new commitment coming and that's what Spirit is telling you. There is a new commitment coming your way. I like the fact that it's the bird bringing almost kind of like the crown. Um, it feels Spirit. This is the helping hand energy as well from God, the universe, the divine. It, it feels that like you're taking care, protecting yourself what matters to you doing the things that you need to do maybe covertly to bring the beginnings of success your way yeah it feels very very beautiful capricorn don't doubt yourself that's what i will say don't doubt yourself but i definitely feel for some of you there are boundaries that you're working within at the moment it feels like you are being tested as well in terms of being changed to your situation but the change is coming the manifesting of the new is coming um but it feels like you're in that transition of moving from something that has tested you to that new door opening and it definitely feels that shiny new door is going to open there are some boundaries constraints tests challenges difficulty difficult environments or difficult peer person that you're working with but it definitely feels for some of you the new door is opening it feels very beautiful so i'm going to pull one more card actually any other advice for capricorn please in this reading any other advice for capricorn in this reading please yeah just stay strong and in your power stay strong and in your power i've got the wheel of fortune there uh, because yeah there is a turning point uh, endings and beginnings you know the wheel of fortune is that transmutable event that transmutable energy of endings and beginnings and there's definitely an energy here of if you stay strong and we need our strength when we face adversity or challenge or fear and i feel that's the three of swords energy that you're facing here um this is about good luck good fortune expansion growth also divine timing things happening when they're meant to happen so and i feel that there is a new door opening for you but you've just been through a really testing time either with a person or with a situation here it doesn't feel that you are very happy with your current career or company maybe that you worked with um, but you're getting on top of a situation head and shoulders above competition and it definitely feels like you'll be manifesting the new success and it feels to do with a new company because uh, you know the, the fool is a new it feels like a new beginning a new partnership a new business partnership or new company okay so what do we have for capricorn as the final message yeah we have cat speak your truth have strength faith and conviction in your voice it has never been more needed beautiful look capricorn you know field mouse success believe in yourself and dare to dream big you know sometimes when i see this um i see this i sometimes remember the mouse that roared and, and it feels in this situation that there has been some boundary uh some challenging energy that you've been dealing with but there's definitely an energy of you understand how to deal with this the most so don't doubt with doubt don't doubt this you know mars in capricorn three of pentacles you knowing your own power to manifest a new reality for yourself yeah so I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.